I'm having a tea party for my friends this afternoon. My Aunt Jen gave me her tea set from when she was a kid. So today, I'm having my very first tea party. Wouldn't it be cool to have a special tea party? Like as a king or queen? Instead of cookies, we would have special sandwiches. Look, they're teeny tiny. But for my tea party, we're having cookies and tea. Some tea for you, and some tea for you. Oh no, I ran out of tea. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Having a tea party, are you? Hi, Ollie. I am. I invited my friends over for a tea party, but I ran out of tea. I don't know what to do. You ran out of tea, did you? I know someone else who ran out of a drink, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Follow me through, follow me through hell. Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Hi, everyone. I'm Luis the Handyman, and I just finished painting these jars for my friend. You know, these jars remind me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha Great! Hammers up, little builders! Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! <laughs> Great! 
Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. This true story from the Bible begins at a wedding party. And this party was a big one. <laughs> oh, look. There is the bride and groom and all their friends at the wedding party to celebrate. Oh, and Jesus, his friends, the disciples, and his mom, Mary, were there too. All the people were having so much fun at the wedding party. They were eating lots of special food and drinking a special wedding drink. But then there was a big problem. <gasps> oh no. Everyone say, oh no. Ready? <gasps> oh no. They ran out of the special wedding drink. <gasps> when Mary found out, she knew it would make the bride and groom very sad. So she went to Jesus for help. Mary knew that Jesus is God's son and he can do anything. She told Jesus what happened and told the helpers to do what Jesus said. Jesus told the helpers to fill up six big jars with water. Hmm. Ooh, let's make sure we have six. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Mm -hmm. Now, here comes the water. All the jars are filled with water. Hey. That's not special wedding drink. That's water. But Jesus wasn't done. Next, he did something amazing. He told the helper to dip a cup into the jar. When the helper brought the cup out of the jar, it wasn't filled with water. It was filled with the special wedding drink. <gasps> Jesus' disciples and the helpers were amazed. Jesus did something that no one else could do. He changed the water into a special wedding drink. Oh, wow. Being with Jesus gave Mary, the disciples, and the helpers so much joy. Now the helpers could give the bride and groom the special wedding drink, and everyone could continue celebrating the bride and groom. <laughs> Jesus gave the people at the wedding party joy, and Jesus can give us joy too. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who gives you joy? Jesus gives me joy. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who gives you joy? Jesus gives me joy. That's the truth, friends. Adios. <laughs> so there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus gave joy by doing something only he can do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo! Hoo! Wow! The people at the wedding ran out of their special wedding drink. So Jesus did something only he could do and turned the water into the special wedding drink. Jesus brought people joy and Jesus can bring us joy too. I think I've got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Having Jesus as my friend forever gives me joy. Even though I can't turn water into a special drink like Jesus did, I can have my mom help me make more tea for my party. I'll see you next time. Bye. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Luke 2.10 I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Luke 2.10 